In tonight's Canada Cafe, we recently hosted Carly Fiorina at the airport diner to learn more about her time off the campaign trail. Why she goes by Carly. Why she doesn't eat sweets. WMUR's Josh McKelvin shares more of the conversation. That looks very healthy and virtuous next to those options. Carly Fiorina doesn't eat sweets these days, not because she can't, but because her husband can't, because he's a diabetic. So in solidarity to keep him going, I said I would too. And because um, I knew competition with me would be more effective than my nagging. She's been married to her husband Frank for 34 years. And Fiorina says on the day of the proposal, it was Frank's young daughter Lori who actually popped the question outside of his mom's house. And we sort of pull up in the driveway. We're there for Easter holiday. And she's bouncing up and down in the back seat with great excitement. And I said, Lori, what is wrong with you? And she said, Daddy, Daddy, aren't you going to ask? So then the cat was cut out of the bag. She calls it the perfect proposal. But life hasn't always been perfect. That same little girl recently lost a battle to addiction, and Carly herself faced mortality in a battle with cancer. Those tough times um, made me unafraid. And I've learned that life isn't measured in time. You know, we all have as much time as we have. That's not how life is measured. And it's not measured in wealth or possession. I think life is measured in love, in moments of grace, which I pray for every day. Her background in business is well documented, and her candidacy has made her a national name which begs this question. How did, you, how did you get the name Carly? Carly, well, very good question. But the answer is even better. And She's named after uh, her grandmother, Carlton, it got a name that's led to confusion. Point. You know, I would get sent in for physicals with the boys. <laughs> I got a draft notice, oh my uh, <laughs> literally. And so the name Carly was born. And if she wins the White House, it might be a popular name in the next generation. Josh McKelvin, WMUR, News 9.